Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Adam Hunt and Ho Yifen. This game was played in Gibraltar in 2012. Hunt had white pieces and he started with e4. Ho Yifen played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6. The Scheveningen variation of the Sicilian defense. And now g4, the Keres attack. Knight to c6, g5, attack in the knight and gaining the space on the board. Knight to d7, bishop to e3, bishop to e7, h4. A6, not only controlling b5 square, but intending to play pawn to b5. And the pawn storm on the queen side. White to move, queen to e2, and queen to d2. Are the two most played moves. Adam Hunt played queen to e2. Queen to c7, bishop to h3, knight to c5, and Adam Hunt castled queen side. Black to move. Perhaps b5 comes to mind in this position. Ho Yifen played knight takes on d4. Bishop takes on d4. And Ho Yifen castled kingside, not afraid of castling into it. Rook from d to g1. White is standing better. At least visually. How about practically? Let's see. Ho Yifen continued with b5. What else? The pawn storm on the queen side. It is white to move. And in this position, Adam Hunt played a move which surprised everybody. And the move is bishop to f5. A deflection tactic. If pawn takes bishop, then knight to d5. Black to move. Should black take the bishop or not? What would you do? Ho Yifen accepted the challenge. Pawn takes bishop on f5. Knight to d5, attacking the queen as planned. Queen to b7. And now, queen to h5. Let's take it back. I'd like to show you this variation. What happens if bishop takes on c5? Then d takes on c5. And after queen to h5, king to h8, and black is ok. Back to our game. So in this position, queen to h5 was played. The position is critical and black has only one good move in this position. And that is knight to e6. Let's take it back. If black is not careful and plays something like f takes on e4, this is what Adam Hunt had in mind. Knight to f6, check. And after g takes on f6, g takes on f6, discover check. King to h8, f takes on e7, discover check, f6. Pawn takes rook, queen, check, mate. Back to our game. So now you can understand that knight to e6 is a very important move. Adam Hunt continued as planned. Knight to f6, check. Bishop takes on f6, g takes on f6, and now g6. White to move. f3 was played. If queen to h6, queen takes on e4. So we have f3, black to move. There is a temptation to take the bishop. Should black take the bishop or not? Would you? Ho Yifen played the best move, and that is king to h8, threatening to take the queen. Let's take it back. If knight takes on d4, one line goes like this. Queen to h6, threatening checkmate, you would think that the knight would come back on time to save the day. But white has h5. And now let's play a random move here. f takes on e4, then what happens then? Then white would win in an epic way. 
with queen takes on h7 check and after king takes queen h takes on g6 w check king to g8 g7 threatening rook to h8 checkmate if the knight takes pawn then rook takes on g7 check mate back to our game so ho yifen wisely played king to h8 not touching the poisoned bishop queen to h6 intending h5 again taking the bishop would lose very quickly if black intends to develop what happens then then pawn takes pawn on f5 and after rook to g8 f takes on g6 rook takes on g6 rook takes rook pawn takes rook f7 check knight takes bishop pawn to f8 queen check rook takes queen queen takes rook checkmate back to our game so ho yifen played the best move rook to g8 h5 again white is threatening checkmate very quickly queen takes on h7 check and then pawn takes pawn on g6 checkmate how would you defend in this position if you had black pieces this is very tense isn't it black has only one good move in this position and that is g5 white to move bishop to e3 was played and now f4 white to move if bishop goes to f2 black can play d5 or bishop to d7 activating all her pieces so in this position adam hunt made a desperate attack on the black king to give checkmate before all the black pieces get developed knight takes on f4 rook takes on g5 rook takes on g5 queen takes on g5 again threatening checkmate knight to e6 again just in time to save the day and to prevent checkmate the knight is also attacking the white queen queen to g2 bishop to d7 rook to g1 black play the move and white resigned and the move is queen to b6 the hunt ended here adam hunt resigned from this point on it is only black who can improve her position okay for the entertainment purpose let me show you just one line h6 queen to d4 king to b1 queen takes on f6 threatening to take the pawn on h6 queen to h2 knight to d4 threatening to take on f3 rook to f1 rook to g8 and all the black pieces are active a3 knight takes on f3 perhaps king to a1 b4 a takes on b4 bishop to b5 attacking the rook rook to f2 bishop to c4 queen to h1 attacking the knight for the second time queen to d4 attacking the rook rook takes on f3 rook to g1 check queen takes rook queen takes queen check rook to f1 queen takes rook check mate an excellent defending by ho yifen what do you think of this game and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now